Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Like I promised, today I'm going to show you how I made this red truck using all Dollar Tree items. I love this truck and I'm pleased with the way it turned out so I had to share with you. And the best part is this truck cost me less than $5 to make myself. I'm sure you know that red trucks you can use them for many holidays. Here I have pumpkins in the back but later on I'll be switching this up and putting Christmas trees in the back instead. So if you want to see how I made this, grab your paintbrush and let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with these wooden trucks from Dollar Tree and here's the barcode just in case you'd like to order them from online. And now I'm just going to remove this handle. We will not be needing it so you can just set that aside. And I'm going to go in with scissors or wire cutters or what I found works best is the box cutter. So I went in and took off the pumpkins. You could leave the pumpkins if you're going to use these trucks only for fall, but I am going to use them for other holidays. And I just wanted to make sure it's smooth. So I'm using my box cutter to make sure that it's nice and straight back there. You could use sandpaper as well. But um, once I'm done with that, I'm going to take off the 3D part from one of the trucks, not both, because you want the front part to look a little bit 3D. So I took that round part off so everything can glue properly and not wobble. And you can test it out with the little crate you we're going to place in the middle. Now, here's the paint that I use for this. I use black in, uh, craft by Craftsmart and snow white paint and bright red both by Apple Barrel. Now we're going to take our paint brushes out and paint these trucks. For me, I'm going to paint this truck red, but you can definitely go in with any color. Maybe you'd like a blue truck. Just have fun with it and don't forget to paint the size as well. Just to make sure to cover all the wood. I'm following a picture that I just pulled off of Google. That's why there's a tablet back there. So that's one idea for you. You can just pull up a picture from Google and copy the colors. Just a quick reminder, the truck that we took off the 3D pieces from, this one, um, I did paint the back because you don't want to paint the front side because it's going to be inside of the truck. Do you know what I mean? So paint the back side so that way when you turn the truck once we're done, it's all colored around. Does that make sense? <laughs> so this is how it's going to be. We're going to have our crate, which I painted by the way, with the same black color that I have. And I didn't worry much about the outside because you're not going to um, see the outside. I just painted the inside of the crate and the back, but here's how we're going to do it. We're basically going to glue the crate behind the front truck, which has the 3D. And then this flat one will be going on the back. So that way, when you're painting, make sure the second truck that doesn't have the 3D pieces, you're painting the back of that truck. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go in with the same white paint and add a few details onto the truck itself and let that dry. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. Now that I'm completely done painting both trucks, now it's time to put it together. So basically I'm going to take them both and like I said, I'm going to place a crate in the middle and we're going to glue those together. Now I'm going to take one of my trucks and I'm going to hot glue um, the crate onto it. Just make sure when you're gluing it, it's not too high and not too low. You don't want to see the crate from the other truck. So make sure it's well covered. So the way I'm going to do, to do that is that I'm going to go in with my glue gun and I'm going to apply hot glue onto the wheel itself and the top part where it touches basically. Now 
Now to fill in the gap in the middle, I haven't glued the top truck just yet, but I'm going to go in with those craft sticks. They are the jumbo size. They come in a pack of 60 from Dollar Tree. So basically we're going to use the, that to fill the middle part. Notice I did not glue the top truck just yet. I'm going to basically put the craft sticks around and then I'll be gluing the top truck onto that. So I'm going to take my first craft stick and I'm going to start right above the crate right there because we're going to close the front of the truck but of course the crate is going to remain open. So I'm going to start in that corner and then basically just go around. So I'm going to go in with the craft stick and here are just some wire cutters or you can use some scissors. I'm just going to snip the bottom and then I'm going to measure where I should cut the second part. Now take that piece and make sure to try it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in place, grab my second truck and then put it on top. If I feel that the second truck is a little bit wobbly and not laying straight onto the crate and on the stick, then it needs to be trimmed down a little bit, which that happened here. It was a little bit long, so I went back in and cut a little tiny piece and gave it another try. The goal here is to have everything perfectly straight and aligned so that way when you place your top truck, it glues on perfectly. Once we have the proper size, now we can take that craft stick and then measure it onto the others. And um, you can take a pencil and make a line if you'd like and basically cut more craft sticks. Now I'm going to take my craft sticks and going in with my hot glue gun, I'm going to glue the craft sticks in place basically going around the truck like I said and that gives it that 3d look and we'll be painting that in just a minute the best part with working with craft sticks is that they're super easy to cut so if you need to trim one down it's very easy to work with and yeah so basically I'm done with the truck here and I'm going to take the top wooden truck now and placing that on top. First I used hot glue and I felt like it was wobbly so I took it right back off and I felt like I needed to use E6000 because E6000 does take a while to dry so it was a bit forgiving. I could move it around and make sure that it's standing straight because you want to make sure that your truck is standing straight on the table. Now I'm going to go in with the same bright red and I'm going to paint the truck. If you see a little bit of hot glue sticking out, you can peel it off with your hands or you can sand it down if you like. Here I used a box cutter, cutter also to take off the glue and, and then I'm just going to continue on painting. I made some headlights on my truck and I'm going to make my glass white. Um, that's why I'm going in with a little bit of black around to make a little frame and then I'll be painting it white and here are the headlights. I'm not an artist, so please forgive my sloppiness, but I am pleased with the way it turned out. I did my best, <laughs> but I like the way it looks. And yeah, so I'm going to go in with black paint and I'm going to paint the entire bottom of the truck, even the craft sticks down there, black. And here's how it looks. I put, um, I added some wipers in the front and a mirror with the same black paint. The only thing I would do different with this truck though is I would add some fabric or paper to cover the window. So any black paper or any pattern fabric that you like, I would just cover the windows first before doing this entire thing because you could sort of look in there and see the, um, the craft sticks and the wood. So that's the only thing I would do different. But other than that, I am pleased with the way it turned out and the back is black. I think I might go in and add maybe um, like a sticker back there or have something saying pumpkin patch. And here's the best part. You can take out all those pumpkins and easily take this over for Christmas time, put in a Christmas tree instead of the pumpkins and you've got a red truck for Christmas time. But yes, I'm pleased with the way it turned out. I definitely love it, but I'd love to hear from you. So make sure to stop by the comment section and let me know what you think down in the comments. 
And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs. And don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.